All right, brother, we got you uh, all ready to go. This is a one driving two moto three transistor amplifier that was already pre-built. Actually, I built this for a buddy of mine and he never used it. And we worked out a little trade back and it actually just sat here at the house, uh, in, inside the house for a few years. And I finally put it up for sale. And this guy, this nice uh, fella right here purchased it, but uh, he wanted it staged. He wanted a few things done to it because he kind of needed a one transistor amp also. So he's like, well, can we just stage this amplifier? And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm sure we can do that. And um, another thing you want to do is since this uh, 455 in here is just way too strong for these two 421s, I had to add a little extra attenuation, which is that 75 ohm resistor right there. And basically, since this is staged now, he was wanting to know if I could enable it to where he can turn that resistor on and off. So that is what I have done with this switch right here. The only thing I haven't done is uh, relabel everything. I'm gonna have to go and make sure I have uh, a label that says uh, one pill, two pill, and all that. Um, hope to God I do. I need to get some new labels made. But uh, so we had to drill uh, an extra hole for this switch right here. Basically, what we did is just move these two switches that was right here over, and then we had to add this switch right here for the preamp. And then here's the switch is turning that 75 ohm resistor on and off. So it turned out great, brother. Turned out absolutely great, man. This thing is tuned for, to perfection. Uh, another thing I had to do, well, for one thing, I had to remove this whole board and rewire everything up underneath the box. So I, I, I technically had to strip out all the wiring to all the switches and rewire it. I don't know why that's having some some issues there. I think I've en enabled some setting on here I don't normally enable. But anyway, whenever you stage an amplifier and they, they want sideband delay, you have to give individual delay caps for each relay. So I had to install this double pole, double throw switch here. And as you can see, each one has its own individual delay cap now. So, so there you go, man. We got this thing done for you. I went ahead and removed this, uh, the four four pin connector that was right there. Because honestly, with these particular switches in here, you can't run these as a remote anyway because of the lamps in here. I'm not a humongous fan of those switches, but my buddy I had originally built this for is a humongous fan of them. He's just stuck on them things. All right, man, so we got this thing on 14.4 volts. Fourteen dot four. I went ahead and installed me a new bird meter here for my uh, input meter there. We got the 250 watt slug we're gonna be showing in peak. We just got a thousand sitting in there for now. All right, let's start from the beginning. Your first switch here is the one pill. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. With this switch, when you flip it up, it puts the uh, attenuator in effect. Flip it down, it takes it out of line. Okay? So this is out of line. Oh. Is that out of line? One second. Oh, I got the variable turned all the way down. I was wondering why it wasn't doing the output. All right, oh, it's off now. I had the variable turned all the way down. I was uh, trying, playing around with something earlier. Oh, right there, about 125 watts out of that single double orange dot four of 55 flip it up oh yeah about 80 watts okay now keep in mind you got this variable to use in between either or 
okay so you can use this variable to, to with the attenuator off or on to find that perfect so let's see we put the variable halfway we're top scale by the way 10 is 100 watts oh that's halfway look at that 25 watts man <laughs> oh yeah 25 watts oh hardly even barely 10 watts rms all the way down oh barely nothing maybe 10 watts peak so yeah you can really have fun with this getting this to do exactly what you want it to do man all right we're gonna turn that variable back up flip on oh i forgot to show the input reflect five watt slug oh yeah beautiful oh yeah all right now just the two pill section the one transistor section is bypassed And I kind of like the way I did this. Uh, this is the first time I've ever put the pads like right here. And I like the way this works without having to send another coax this direction and around the relay. So, look. so I'm going to take pictures of this. Every once in a while I'll do something like that. And I like to take note of it for the next go around. Oh, off the scale, of course. <laughs> All right. Let's take that out put the 500 watt slug in basically now we're just showing you what the amp uh, is doing since it's staged has it lost a little bit of power maybe a tad bit we'll have to wait and compare it with the latest the last videos the video you know the main video all right 500 watt slug reading the middle scale oh yeah that right there is an easy 320 watts oh yeah and now take a look at this input reflect oh yeah that is even better than the one transistor section oh yeah beautiful man this thing is working wonderful that's on 14.4 volts okay just for fun and games let's see what happens when we do roll this thing up to 15 dang 15.1 i thought it went higher than that probably won't get too much more no i take that back 350 no about 150 rms 140 rms all right i think this supply can handle both unit sections together we're about to see Ooh, look at that 450 watts Ooh, a little bit over 200 bird then put reflect Ooh, look at that that is beautiful less than a quarter watt this is a five watt slug y'all five watt slug Ooh, Absolutely beautiful. God, this amp. That, that's, that's what I love about this amp so much. Is when I I don't know why this is having a focus an issue. I'm sorry about this. But when I first went to build this amp, I have no idea what the wraps are going to be on this driver sex. I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea what the capacitor is going to be right here. What the capacitor is going to be right here. The capacitor is going to be on the input. I have no, I, I did know what the wraps are going to be for the, for this because um, I'm pretty familiar with the Motorola uh, wraps and that's a four and four on that. But I had no idea what the input would be, the output. Definitely had no idea what the tune was going to be on the input and output. So I was in the dark with all this. This is one of them ones I had to spend time with and really, really tune each section individually. Now, yes, I had done a one drive and four moto box before this one. And uh, I'm a big fan of these 421s. They don't do exactly, exactly the amount of watts or a PEP or a of the Toshiba would. But when you're looking at the DB spec sheet, it ain't going to be much off. 
It really ain't gonna be much off. Who's that out there? Hey. I'll make sure somebody went walking up on me. All right. Now, you know what I just thought about? That attenuator was just turned on. I, I've installed this in here for a reason. Because when you flip this up, it's just too much for it. Let me see what the dead key is. Yeah, this phone's about to die. I might have to hurry it on up. Alright, the dead key is not terribly high, actually. Alright, we're going to take it out of the line just one time. Let's take a look at the dead key. See, now the dead key is 150 watts. So that's what I was afraid of. No. And uh, it didn't swing that much more, honestly. But this supply right here is, 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 is not completely adequate for this. It, it works great with a two pill and under and can test a four, but if you hook this bad boy up on the unregulated supply over here, it, it'll peg 500. Y'all y'all probably seen that in another video. I'm not gonna hook it up to the unregulated supply, but you, having this switch up is 100% recommended when you're running both sections. Please just leave it up. You, you'll, you, these transistors are, are not cheap and they are very hard to find, brother. All right, man, this phone's about to die like I said. But uh, we're just going to play around with a little something here. We're going to flip that switch up. We're going to turn this all the way down. Ooh, barely 300 watts. Ooh, barely 50 bird. Ooh, yep, barely 50 bird. You got a 